People will tell undergraduate students who are interested in medical school, let alone in graduate school, that you should get, you should go out and you should get at least another year or two of experience because they're expecting undergrads to not have the lab experience that you have the opportunity to have at Haverford. As a senior undergrad, I'm still considered a competitive applicant to these programs because of the amount of research that I've been able to do since freshman year. So not only does that include the <laughs> very high caliber of just lab classes that we have, in which like exposure to like fluorescent microscopy and bio 200 is not something that a lot of people get like in four years, let alone in an introductory bio course. I've also just been kind of trusted to know what I'm doing. And from that, I've been able to grow like as a researcher over a very extended period of time. <laughs> looking at the brain for the first time, really looking at the brain under a microscope, knowing that you're looking at real tissue, um, for me was almost a little bit like a spiritual experience, like just kind of the absolute appreciation and respect for the system that is driving everything that we are was kind of like, like even saying it, like it sounds very cheesy, but it's like, it, it was just very profound. Um, and I'd happily dedicate the rest of my life to <laughs> studying it. Um, and here we are. Um, I'm on two papers on two publications and I'm on five posters that have been presented at international conferences, which is, <laughs> it's kind of weird to say. Without, without my experience here at Haverford, I wouldn't be able to say that, let alone be able to pursue the things that I want to pursue next year.